Hello, this is Talon with Old Guy Stuff on Busy Corner Lane. And this video is going to be about how to add or remove apps from your smart TV. So, uh, to get started with this, let me show you what we have. And I'm sorry about the flashlight deal, but here it comes. I don't actually have overhead light in this room. Okay, but this is a Vizio Smart TV and it's the third from the end on the right. It's the D50F-E1. Okay, now, uh, there's a whole bunch of models for TVs in this manual, but it's supposed to work for a bunch of different models. In fact, it's supposed to work for a bunch of different brands also. Okay, so here's the situation. Okay, let's start with this. Okay, you've got your new TV or you had to do a factory reset and it'll say double click the V button in the middle of the remote and you'll get this screen. Okay, well it says you click it once you get this, it'll say double click to give you this screen. Now, the problem we were running into and this might affect uh, other people too, okay, is that when I had this screen on the first click, the second click gave me this. Counterproductive, it's not gonna work for us, okay? Um, so, I found out what's gonna solve this situation, okay? Um, first of all, when we did the factory reset and we went through and set everything up, okay, you notice my network is up here, Okay, let's kind of make that to where that side of the screen is going to be show up a little bit better. Doesn't matter that you can see what my network is called. Uh, you don't want to see my neighbor's networks. They're, they actually name their networks a lot of profanity stuff. Other than the one about Star Trek. Uh, everything else is like profanity. Okay, but here's the thing. So I've got these five green bars. And that's good. We want that. But the problem is when we were doing this... And we double click, we weren't getting this screen. Okay. So what happened was we set up our internet when we reset the TV. We put the password in correctly and everything. So what happens <coughs> is I had to reset the TV again by going into the system menu. Just hit menu, scroll down to system, click system. Um, Go down to Reset and Admin. I'm not going to go all the way through with this. Uh, reset TV to Factory Default. Uh, if you click here, you get this. And then you go to Reset and click there. Uh, I'm just going to say Cancel. Okay. So do that, but do not set up your Internet. That's what we found the problem was. Don't set your Internet up yet. Okay. So here's what's going to happen. You go into here, and you go to double click, and it's going to say you need to set up your internet. Then go in and set it up. It's crazy, but that's what happened. So now I'll go in and I set up my network. I click on here. I put in my password, which is all I really needed to do. Well, other than see which internets are available. Put in my password. Now that's good to go. So now when I click the V button two times... I get this screen, okay? So one time gives me this screen, the second time gives me this screen. <sighs> Boy, that was a lot. Okay, now the only thing we actually use on here is this one, multimedia, because we don't watch TV. We haven't watched TV since 2011. I know you're thinking, oh my God, I got a TV here and I'm not using it for watching TV. And actually I got another TV right next to it. But we, our family uses for playing video games together. So we got two TVs set up for playing video games. Okay. So we have a DVD player here. Um, and we watch DVDs and we play video games. Um, and what we really like to do is take a flash drive. Sorry for the uh, flashlight on this one too. But we'll take a flash drive like that, plug it into the side of the TV, and... Things that we make videos of with our phone or pictures, we put in multimedia and then we can watch them on the TV. Okay, so we want to get rid of these things we don't use. I don't use any of these Yahoo things. 
the ones with the little lock thing in the upper right corner, like this uh, one, HDTV settings, Yahoo profile, multimedia, you cannot get rid of. You have to keep them, even if you don't use them. Okay, so how do we get rid of these? You scroll over to the one you want, okay, with the little cursor moving thing in the middle of your remote. So, so sorry about the flashlight here, but this little area here, and my buttons are all rubbed off. I've had this a few years. But right here, the, the outer square. The inner square is okay. The outer square lets me move around the menu. So, you move to the one you want, you want to get rid of, and you hold the OK button down for about three seconds. On the bottom right of the screen, I get this. And I click, oh, if I want to go ahead and delete that one, I click OK. If I want to change to another one, uh, I can move it in that way, okay? Um, back out of that. So, I'm going to hold the OK button for three seconds, and then I'm going to hit OK again to delete, and it gives me this. It's kind of redundant. It's going to happen over and over and over again, but that's okay. So hold it down for about three seconds. Click it OK. I'm just following the directions on the bottom right of the TV and now in the middle of the screen. And I keep doing it. Hold down for about three seconds and then click again. Scroll over to delete and click that one. I cannot delete this because it's got the little lock thing. Oh. Keep on going, and this is all I'm doing. So once you get to where you're on this screen, deleting is really easy. And if I want to add, then I can go into like the all apps thing, and I can I can pick something to add, okay? Or I can go into the app store and do it. So adding and deleting are actually pretty easy. And for me, oops, didn't want to do it that way. And for me, I just want to delete things I don't use. So the main emphasis on this video is, number one, I know in about a year I'm going to need to do this again. <laughs> so I don't want to have to try to refigure it out. So if I post this up on YouTube, it's going to be there. I can look at that next year and I'm good to go. So no complaints on this. And hopefully this helps other people out also because that's cool. I like helping people. I don't even know what iHeartRadio is, except in that movie, uh, I don't remember what it was, that they put the heart on the moon. Um, they had something about the all heart thing, I think. I guess iHeart is their own brand. Video watch free. I don't even know what that is. Like I said, the only thing I'm interested in having, oops, I messed that one up. Hold it down for about three seconds, click OK. There we go. So now I'm good to go. I've got it exactly like I want it. So when I hit the V button, I get this. And you cannot get rid of the App Store. Uh, that's going to show up. And see, it was not on my list here. But you're not going to be able to get rid of that. So I'm, I'm not going to, you know, be concerned. So now I'm just going to go to this. I'll leave it on that. And that's how I am. But if uh, you have other apps you like, then they're going to show up in the bottom here. They call this the dock, I believe. Um, so one click on the V button gets you this. Two clicks is going to get you the screen that had everything on it earlier. So this is all I have left now. Whew. Well, I hope this helps somebody out, and I know it's going to help me out next year. So, <laughs> so this is Talon with Old Guy Stuff on Busy Corner Lane. Have a safe, happy, peaceful, wonderful day, and goodbye.